transform our lives from drab to fat. Today's episode of Vegan Food Fridays is all about vegan crab cakes. Something that is very popular within our community is a crab cake, especially in the Maryland DC area. You always enjoy a good crab cake. Well, as a vegan, it is very important that you get different dishes that are similar in texture and they taste similar too. So today I am going to be making um, my vegan crab cakes. Now with that being said, I am going to be on live as well. Now I might look back and forth. I don't know if you caught last week. Um, the people will be popping in and out on the live channel. That's just going to be going. Um, and the replay is always going to be up the very next day. So, welcome to Vegan Food Fridays. I'm Chef Leah Renee. You can follow me on Instagram, Manifesting Leah Renee, or Drive the Fab Lifestyle. If you are not liking and subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit the bell so that you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, now, without further ado, let's get to the tea okay now this recipe is a lot simpler um a lot more simple simpler i'm not sure if there is a difference there i don't know <laughs> but um there are similarities there we go there are similarities between the texture of the original crab cake and the um vegan crab cake now i personally use three different proteins, if you will, um, which allow for that consistency to come about. Now, when it comes to the crab cake, you like that chunkiness, um, especially if you want real authentic crab cake and you want that lump crab meat, you wanna break up your ingredients um, to that consistency. So. Let's go through all of our ingredients before we get started. So, uh, like I said, I use three different ingredients, um, proteins, if you will. I use artichoke hearts. Now you're going to use one can of that. I'm not sure of the ounces right now, but of course I'm going to put that on the end slate, okay? You're going to also have the garbanzo beans. Now with the garbanzo beans, um, you're going to do one can as well. You're also going to do one can of hearts of palm. Now I love me some hearts of palm, um, I love me some chickpeas and I love me some artichoke hearts. So together they make this amazing, like it's just, it's just popping. Okay. Then you have your panko. Okay. Now with your panko, you need about, I believe it's like two cups. I'm going to put it also in the end slate or whatever, but you do need panko as well. Okay. So then you have your seasonings so with the seasonings seasonings are pretty simple like i said um this recipe does not have that many ingredients but um once they come together it gives like the most amazing flavor like the most burst of flavor ever okay so um let's start with the um garlic so we have a teaspoon of garlic we have a teaspoon of salt and we have a, a teaspoon and I believe it's a one eighth, uh, one eighth, one eighth teaspoon, excuse me, 
um, of this um, Old Bay seasoning. Now, Old Bay seasoning is basically just a Cajun seasoning. You can use Cajun or Creole, one of, it doesn't really matter, one of those, right? So then we have some parsley. Now the parsley is literally, some people think that parsley have a flavor. I don't think that it has a flavor two inches on, but you need parsley. Um, excuse me, my dog is bothering me, okay? Um, you're also going to be using a little Dijon mustard, uh, a little um, vegan mayo. Now the vegan mayo that I have, I have the Chipotle vegan mayo. Now this Chipotle vegan, vegan mayo, excuse me guys, okay? Um, back to what I'm saying. Sorry guys. So we have the vegan mayo and the vegan mayo I have is the Chipotle vegan mayo. Now, there are multiple um, brands. I'm not promoting brands currently because I'm not getting paid by them right now. So, find you a good brand and taste it, okay? Now, we also have a, a teaspoon of lemon juice. Um, we have a teaspoon of um, Worcester sauce. Um, now, all Worcester sauce is not vegan, so make sure you go to like... Um, a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something more on the health food side. Sometimes when you get to like a Mariano's or a Kroger's, you might, or a Ralph's, you might get um, the vegan, but sometimes you have to go to those specialized stores for certain things. Um, then you have some green onions here, okay? So I'm also going to be making a remoulade sauce. Now the remoulade sauce is going to be your standard remoulade sauce with some vegan mayo, um, some more Dijon mustard, a little salt and pepper, but the difference here is we're going to add some capers. Now, the capers, um, it gives a little of the brininess um, when it comes to the seafood flavor or that down-home dipping sauce, okay? So, that's what you got here, all right? So we're gonna get started. I need to get a big bowl and we're going to be mixing our proteins together first. Now with the Arts of Palm, you could basically take a cutting board and you're going to either chop it up or you can take a fork and you can mash it up. I'm probably just gonna put it in a bowl today, put some gloves on and just work everything together. That's probably what I'm gonna to do today. So, to each his own, two seconds. Make sure you drain your liquid off, beautiful people, and you to blend. So you drain it, and you're going to mix, put them all together like that, unless you want to break them separately. I'm just used to making this recipe, so I'm just used, like I said, I'm going to work it with my fingers, because I want it kind of chunky too. I wanted to give that consistency of lump crab meat. playing some music but I just feel like that's so distracting when I'm trying to like look at somebody cook something okay. so as you can see it just kind of breaks up like that now it's not the neatest it's not however that's not necessary because you're going to be putting all of this stuff together and you're not going to be able to tell because you're going to be making patties and just it's just not going to matter so yeah so yes now we get to the hearts of pie now 
You want to be a little more careful with that because you don't want that to get mushy, okay? Now, you can also put this through a food processor. I'm not doing that either. I don't want it to over pulsate. Like I said, I'm going for the lump crab consistency. And to me, your fingers are your best tools here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna probably speed this up on the camera here just a minute, cause it's gonna take me a little moment. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Basically, this whole recipe is just literally just mixing everything together, making patties, and frying them up. That is really it. It's just like a regular crab cake. Things do not have to be complicated. I want y'all to understand the vegan is fun. Oh Lord. Linda, please get out of my kitchen. Thank you. Alright. So it's pretty much done here. This is the longest process here. Everything else is quick and painless. This is the longest process of the whole entire thing. London, get out of my kitchen. Okay. So, now that this concoction here is done, what we're going to do is I'm going to add some of the breadcrumbs. Now, after the breadcrumbs, I'm going to add a little liquid. Um, if you need to add a little olive oil too, you, sh you can, but these, um, um, the... Uh, mayo and mustard and lemon juice and Worcestershire. It all has liquid. Um, we're going to put some capers in here as well for some of the uh, brininess. And we're going to put more of the flavor of the liquid in here for that briny flavor. So basically, the capers that we're going to put in the sauce, we're going to take the liquid of that and we're going to be putting it in here just for a little of the flavor. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna season it last because we want to go ahead and make sure that it's all, you know, together and everything first. It smells just like crab cakes, I promise you. Now, if it's too wet, you know, you add more bread crumbs. Because you're going to need to be able to make patties. Like right now, it's just a salad. You need it to be thicker than that. Add as many as you need. Uh -uh. 
Yep, gonna need a little bit more of those bread crumbs. But you can see, actually, that's almost, that's almost, actually, I'm kind of rocking with it. So what you're going to do though, you're going to roll this patty here, you're going to roll it in some breadcrumbs so that when you put it on the pan, it gets that crispy, crispy taste. So, here we go. So basically now, all you guys are going to be doing is adding the seasonings. That's the salt, the garlic, Old Bay, parsley, um, here is, and green onions, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that into the meat or the parts of palm. Now you don't have to use all three hearts of palm, garbanzo beans and all of that. I do because I like to be full when I eat, to be honest. So I just feel like it gives me, it fills me up more. This is what it looks like. It looks like a crab cake. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Make sure I get it on the bottom there. Okay. So. What I'm going to do is. I'm just me. So. I'm going to make about three of these. I'm going to freeze the rest of the meats and use it another time. But if you can see, sorry, this here is your crab cake. So, like I said, you're going to take some more panko and you're going to coat this and then we're going to pan fry. Now you could put this in the oven if you want to, but it takes a lot longer to get crispy. A little pan fry ain't gonna hurt. Also, um, before I make all of mine, I'm gonna add just a little fresh garlic. Some people don't like fresh garlic, so I didn't add it into the recipe, but I personally do. So I'm just gonna take a little of that garlic. Because I'm obsessed with garlic. To be honest. So that's basically it. So I'm going to finish the rest of these patties and then we're going to go off camera and then I'm going to come back and we're going to fry some crab cakes. Okay. See you guys soon. Okay, guys, we're back. So I'm going to show you guys. I forgot before we went off. I didn't show you exactly how to make a patty. So you're going to take a little bit. In your hand I forgot that there's everyone's not a chef so sometimes when I be speaking to people about how to bake stuff I just be forgetting like it's not not as easy as it is to other people as it is to me so I'm gonna take a moment to show you guys how to do this okay so basically take like a little chunk like this you put your fingers in your hands you cup this hand and you kind of like go around in circle all around this is like back and forth and then you use both hands and both middle fingers like this and just 
all of those patty makers and all of that a waste of money okay god gave you two fingers a patty 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 okay so i'm gonna freeze the rest of this closer look at it so you see the consistency consistency looks just like a crab consistency all right so we're gonna take breadcrumbs here now these are a little finer these are just the italian style um italian style um breadcrumbs if you will okay so you're gonna coat both sides of that a couple times just like kind of roll that bad boy in there okay try not to make a mess like i just did So obviously it's just me i'm not gonna eat all of these but yeah. these are not the same size so that's gonna drive me up a while let's make that one smaller so let's coat it now i do have some bigger breakfast i think yes no. i use the last of the panko oh it's a little bigger no, it's not. <laughs> the idea, though, is to use um, panko throughout the entire recipe, okay? You would like to use panko throughout the entire recipe. I'm going to make that a little smaller because that was a little ginormous, okay? Like, who's eating it? Here's another one being coated. Coat that baby up. I'm put that back on the tray. Same one, last one. All right. So I'm gonna have to turn on my fan because this is like a frying process. So. It's gonna get a little loud. Okay, this is what they look like. Okay. Regular smidger crab cakes. Okay. Can. So we're gonna take a little EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put that on the bottom of the pan. I'm going to take that off the top. Okay. Heat it up. And, um, I don't need that off. Let that do its thing. Turn the fire down. It's a little high. Don't want it to burn. So you're gonna roll the, you're gonna roll the olive oil basically around it so it cooks all the time. Now you can use a regular pan if you like. I just like to use my flat print pan because it's cool, I think. I like it. So let's get some of this out the way. See, clean as you go, yeah. If you clean as you go, it won't be dreadful at the end of the night. You get done cooking and it's a mess in your house. Because you didn't clean as you go. Like people who could let their sinks pile up and all that, you're dirty. This recipe can be used as like an appetizer, if you will. I'm going to use it as my entree, or you can put it on a salad as well. So, as you can see, I just flipped this first one. It looks like a crab cake. 
looks like a crab cake, okay? So we're gonna let that cook some more. Like Amazing. Here we go with the um, remoulade sauce. Okay, so like I said, I'm using a chipotle uh, mayo, a vegan chipotle mayo here, okay? Um, a little Dijon, this is just regular Dijon, regular Dijon. Now, I have measurements for this. I will put it in the end slide, of course. I honestly don't know them off the top of my head. I kind of eyeball them and everything. Else. Oh, it, they're pretty much done here. I'm going to show you guys again the progress. They're sitting here. Crab cakes. Vegan wear. Vegan aware, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so those are finishing. As those are finishing, I'm going to go ahead and finish the um, remoulade sauce. Okay, so we're going to throw our capers in there. Remember those capers from earlier? Capers are pretty much, um, they taste the same as almost pickles. Almost like pickles. But they're a little more, they stay in their brine a little longer than pickles do. Um, so, yeah. They're a little more pungent, is what the word is. Okay, so in there, you're gonna put a little hot sauce, too. Okay, that's the last bit of hot sauce there, baby. <laughs> so, what else did I say I'm cooking there? Oh, a little garlic and salt pepper. That's it. garlic you can put a little wash wash on your sauce in there too um i'm also going to put a little cayenne in there as well for a little color okay and that's going to be that now these are pretty much done i just want yeah them to be warm on the inside as well um okay so a little wash treasure, wash tire, whatever, however you say it. <laughs> that up there, a little salt and pepper. to mix it all up. Put the lime in the cook and mix it now we look. London, I promise you. If you keep acting like this on the fly, I'm not sure. Oh, you need lemon juice in this as well, for sure. Done. So I'm going to take them off and let them rest a little bit while we finish this here. Okay, so we're going to get a little lemon, fresh lemon. Oh man, I love this. Love it. All right, so roll this around a little bit. Okay, and then take a 
Now I have a lemon squeezer, but I'm not pulling that out. I just squeeze a little lemon in there. Make sure if you drop any seeds in there, if you do it that way, take them out. Okay? So you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna run the back of the spoon, just slide it around there so that you can smash most of them. Now, obviously you might not get all of them, but that's okay. You're just gonna get most of them. All it is is a relish, okay? That's all of the lot of It is it's a relish, okay. hit the gym. I'm trying to force myself to go after this. It's not looking too bright. Um, all right. So you have okay. So now what you're going to do is going to plate two of them because they're larger. happy with the results let's get a fork here okay we're gonna squeeze a little of this here just like you want a regular one okay all right let's see how we do here so here's the consistency let's turn the fork around This is good consistency. Looks pretty crab-like to me. Did that in a little of my sauce there. Tastes like crab cake with rumelade sauce to me too. Now that rumelade really tastes like a real rumelade. But this right here, this is good. This is consistency. Oh my gosh. Cook, yeah, okay. Consistent, all right. So, thank you again for rocking with me and Draft the Fab Lifestyle. I don't know what I'm cooking next week, but 
of course, pay attention to my Instagram. I always post updates there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to replay this so that I can take pictures for the Instagram. Until next time, I love you guys. Peace out.